Hi you guys. So today's video <clears throat> is going to be a video that um they a few people have been asking me and I'm not an expert. I don't consider myself a professional um but um during my um times you know where everybody watches uh video youtube videos and we're always practicing and stuff and somebody asked me if i can um show you guys how i do my 3d flowers so i was like sure no you know i, I i'm not and this is not saying that this is how you're supposed to do it this is just how I do it, okay? So let me show you guys some little samples. Um, so these are just some that I have been uh, practicing and these are a few that I've been uh, just experimenting with like different um, acrylics, um, different size um, tips. Okay, so I did these on like a little almond. And then um, I did these here. So... I'm not like, you see like some of them, look at these big old things like, so as you can see, like I have been really practicing. I've been trying to keep my petals to like be the same size. Cause really what it, what it, what I feel is the, what you need to do is just be consistent on the size of the beads um and your brush okay so there's two these are two of my go-to brushes okay so <clears throat> i'm sure <clears throat> excuse me a lot of people have heard of this one which is the panna 3d kalinsky size 5 and I like this one because you see how the tip is round and pointy, right? It's round and pointy. It's And what I mean by round is like it's round all around, okay? Because the other brush that I also like to use is not round. And I'm going to show you what I mean about that, which means, see, this one is flat, okay? It's flat, but pointy. So these are two very different style brushes. And this one here is a Mia Secret Kalinsky 3D Art Brush, and this is a size number four and this one has also been <clears throat> very good to me <clears throat> oh my gosh guys i am so sorry about that so next thing your monomer right so i use enel couture's uh fast drying monomer when i'm gonna do my um flowers um, but what I also been using when I don't have this monomer is, uh, Young Nails or Kiara Sky. And I add some, where's my bottle? Oh my gosh, you guys, hold on. Okay, so I use these here. These Kiara Sky monomer enhancer drops. And not only 
does this help for 3d um flowers but this also helps with just like every day like acrylic application it makes your your acrylic very buttery like i don't know i can't explain it but jen get nails by jen she um i believe she says she uses these drops and you've seen her videos where she picks up those big chunky beads, right? And they're like so pliable and they're just like so like you could just mold them into like whatever you want, right? So you put like, I put about like six drops of these into like maybe this much uh, monomer. This is not even that full. So about six drops or you can also um use some acetone some 100 percent acetone and i would put like about four or five drops of acetone okay so let's get into some 3d flowers um i hope this comes out you know the way i just created like all these swatch sticks different sizes uh you know different colors just to like just to like you know play with it so let's start so let's start by using the panna okay so let me try to move everything in here and then so you guys can at least see when I pick up. So let's go in with this yellow, okay? So I wet my, I saturate, right? But then I kind of tap, not too much. You don't want to take off too much of the monomer. And then in a circular motion, right, I grab my bead, but like straight down. See how it's getting, it, it's like, it's the, you do the same thing like when you're gonna apply acrylic, right? So this will be our, <clears throat> this will be the middle of the flower, okay? So, I just leave, this is where we're gonna like create the petals around it, okay? So, let's zoom this in a little bit. So, see how it's not even like moving? That's because I have some of these drops in there and it's very moldable. Like, the acrylic is very moldable, okay? So, Let's go in with some more. And then in a circular motion. So let's wait a little bit, right? And then let's put our bead down. Okay, you see that? Let's dry off the brush a little bit. And then press down like that see and I just keep because you gotta like kind of keep an eye on it right because <clears throat> it'll start like closing up on you and you don't want that so you want to make sure that this lip the middle part is stays open like that okay so that's my first petal Ooh. don't mess it up marcy okay so let's get on to our second bead okay so we got our second bead okay we're gonna place it down Okay, wipe your brush 
and press, okay? Press. see that so you see how <laughs> this petal is bigger than the other petal so because this petal is down here well I have to make the petal that's gonna go here has to be like this so I have to make sure my bead is not too big or i have to make sure i try to get it the same size so let's wait a bit a little bit don't put it right away on the nail okay and you can let it sit there for a little bit don't be don't be scared thinking that it's gonna dry okay and then just come in and press See that? All right, I like that, right? So let's work with another color, okay? Let's try the blue, okay? So let's grab the middle part of it of the of the flower and you kind of kind of have to like guide yourself okay because you have to like imagine where where do you want your petals to be right so i'm going to go with the middle of the flower right there Okay. Grab your bead like that. Okay, and then I'm going to turn my swatch stick like this because I want this to be right here. Okay. And let me wipe this clean okay and see that right. so let's go with the second all right we're gonna put this one right there okay wipe your brush because you don't want your brush to be when you when you do this when you're pressing it down you don't want your brush to be super wet because then that'll like make the um it'll make the acrylic very runny because you're adding more monomer to it and you don't want that okay so that's the other petal so we're gonna go to over here on this side so i do five okay so you kind of gonna gotta like look at it yourself and say you gotta make five petals fit on there okay so wipe your brush and press right so there's number three remember you always want the middle to be open okay all right so let's 
sometimes I'm able to fit up to six petals. And I'm talking about like very nicely on there, you know, not like all, all uh, crowded. So it's really up to you how you, you know, how you see it. If you feel like you can fit six petals on there, then do six petals. If you feel like you can only fit um, five petals, do five petals. Okay, so I just press and there is our blue flower. So see how it's closing up? You want to come back and just open that up. Don't let it close up. Okay, because then it doesn't look like a petal, you know, it's just going to close up. Okay, so let's go with purple, okay, so let's go one more time. So you do your middle bead and you put it right where you think it'll go right see that pretty 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 you can also use rhinestones there you know i've been liking the way like this looks with the uh, acrylic so it's really up to you you know how you uh what you want to put you know it's up to you okay so wipe your brush and then press it open okay now i want to show you guys um okay i want to show you guys okay you know what let me finish this flower real quick because i'll i want to show you guys how I use the other brush, the Mia Secret brush. Um, some people work much better with that one because the brush is flat and pointy. Okay, so. I find that sometimes that brush, the Mia Secret brush, which is, which is um, flat and pointy, sometimes uh, gives me nicer uh, petals. So, yeah. So let me just finish this flower here. Yeah, you gotta work with it guys work with it because it'll start closing up on y'all you can even uh let me see if i can do this uh try to put two beads down at the same time see that It's kind of harder though, guys, because I don't know. I feel like I'm a beginner, okay? So I don't want to see how, yeah, because, yeah, don't do it like this. Because you start getting nervous. Well, that's what happens to me. Like, I start getting nervous thinking like, oh, my God, I need to go back before this one dries. And, you know, I'm just... I'm just making myself nervous so okay so let's try let me clean this brush real quick okay okay so we clean it up 
and put your okay so let's try our Mia secret So this one will be the same way you wet your brush, tap it, grab your middle bead, okay, put it down. Let's try using different colors, how about that? Sorry if I'm quiet, y'all. See how, because it's pointy, it like, I don't know, it just, it works a little better. Okay, there you go. Okay, sorry guys, because I'm using multiple colors. So, this is all, always very... It's very cute, like a spring design, right? Like when you do a bunch of colors like this. Okay, let's... This one here, and that'll be the middle. Okay. Oh my god, my dog just squirted right by me. Like, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, Lord. Okay, y'all heard that? She failed. She is crazy, y'all. She loves her daddy when he gets home. She cannot hear. Uh huh, because she thinks it's him coming from work. Sorry.
is a different day, okay? And yesterday when I was working on the <clears throat> flowers, I just am not happy with these. See this? And, oh my God, what a mess. Look at this purple one. That is so ugly. But, I mean, this just goes to show that, I mean, you got to keep practicing. I'm still practicing. And then there's days when I can do them like, make them like this. Look, <laughs> I think these came out like the petals are the same size and, you know... So, I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's the acryl the colored acrylics. I don't know. So, then I took my white acrylic. And this one is chrome white from Enel Couture. And I started practicing on uh, this one. So, it looks like they're, except for this one the other four are the same size so let me let's make another one and i'm using the panna brush okay so let's make the bead this one is the one that i put in the middle okay so we're just gonna leave that one if it starts spreading i just kind of scoot it in okay I just scoot it in, scoot it in. I don't let it get like too, too big. Okay, so. And this is literally what I do. Okay, when I'm, what I'm doing right now is what I do when I practice. Okay, so it's, it's okay now. Like, cause you don't want the middle part to be too big. Unless you're using a rhinestone, of course. You know, you can use your little rhinestone. So let's see how we do with the white. Okay. So I'm gonna let it polymerize on there. Place my bead and then push down. Okay. So let's do another one. And this is not like the this is not like the, uh, the way, like, I don't do, like, this one, for example, because, like, I don't know why I even did it like this, but I did want to show y'all something interesting, right? Because you can also do a little bow, right? So, like, see, if you look at it this way, doesn't that look like a Hello Kitty bow? So, just saying. Okay, so, and then see how I put this one closer than that one? It's just, like... You just gotta keep practicing, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so let's start doing the side petals. Okay, see that? Okay. So you see how this one might end up having six petals. Because we got two more to put on this side. And that's just because these two I made all huge. So now the ones that are like in there have to be smaller. So then it means that you can fit in more petals. Okay. So see that? Now, what I notice, see this? 
I really like these here. The ones on this green, uh. So, let's try it with the other uh, brush. We'll use the white um, acrylic. Hold on, I got my Mia Secret brush. Let's do this one here. How do I want this? Okay, we're going to put it there. Okay. All right. So there's our first little bead, and that's for like the middle of the flower. Okay. Let's ah. grab another one because uh, see what I'm saying? Like you just gotta try to pick up there it goes. Okay. A nice medium bead. Okay, come your brush and smash it. Now, you don't want to play with it too much either, because you might end up, you know, just messing it all up. That makes sense. Okay. So what I do is like, I also like just make sure the dent, you know, like in the middle is there. <clears throat> and I kind of just play with it <clears throat> up until the acrylic is not moving anymore. Because if you like just leave it right without checking up on it, the acrylic might close up on you. Okay, what I mean by close up on you is it won't have that little dent in the middle because it'll... You know, the acrylic will just close up. Okay, so. Okay, these came out a little better. Okay. Okay, so there's this one here. So, this one is coming out way better, y'all. Way, way better. Okay. So, let's do like a little design. Okay. So, this will be... The middle of the. Ooh, I really don't like this bead because it's so freaking huge. But that's okay. Alright, we are going to. Okay. So let's start off with all our beads. And I'm usually like very quiet when I'm working on like the flowers uh, because I feel like you need to make sure you like pay attention to the petal, you know, otherwise it'll just, I don't know, they'll start like looking all different and, and all that, so, and you don't want that. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Can you see that? So we're going to put another one right there.
hurry and smash it down. You can even kind of hold it down for a little bit, you know, just like that. Okay. So let's do the other side. You can do it right there. It looks like this one's gonna be a four five. Wow, okay. Mm hmm See how there's like a little bit of space there? I guess what you try to do is just make like a little small petal. You know, because then <clears throat> if you leave it blank there, it's going to look kind of awkward. Okay. One more. Okay. And don't forget to dry off your brush. Okay, what do you guys think of that? Okay, and then what we can do here. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. Let's grab a small little bead and we'll put it right here, like that. Okay. We'll put a bead there and Smash it down. Okay. The beauty of with this brush and with the other brush, with this brush, you can, it's possible to make smaller petals. Uh, the other brush is a size five, so it picks up bigger beads. You can pick up smaller beads with this type of brush. Um, you don't have to get a Mia Secret uh, brush to uh, achieve petals. Um, as long as it's a Kalinsky um, brush um, and you can get it to where it's shaped like this one, right? Flat and pointy. Or the other one is like round and pointy. But it's a size five that one's a size five and this is a size four this is a size four i guess if you if they had that panda brush in a size four and it was round i guess you would be able to uh, also do it so yeah but here is uh, this little design here which i think is pretty cute what do you guys think all right imagine this on a nail like i think this is so cute Okay, so right now these two here are my favorite. Right now, these are my favorite. Okay, so like I said, so you pick up the beads. Now when I pick up the beads, I twirl the brush in the acrylic and pick up a bead okay and then put my bead down so I'm gonna show y'all so this is how I press it down I think this one was too dry you guys so let's try it again that was too dry what the heck I want to show you guys how to press down the pedal. Okay, so. See that? And then keep doing it because see how it starts closing up? You got to make sure that it doesn't close off completely. Okay. So. Ah. So let's try one more. 
your feet down. Wipe your brush and squeeze down. I mean, not squeeze down. <laughs> Press down. Okay. But of course, always have, you know, your point where you're, you know, where you're going to be doing your petals around it. So, yeah, let's add some of this blue here in the middle, like that. Just so I can have, like, a point. You know? Okay, let's do a, another bead. Okay. So we sit it down. And press. This is crazy. See how I did now? I think it's going to be four uh, petals. Or can I do... I probably can do five, yeah? I can do five. It's you, And it usually looks better with five petals instead of four. So, just saying. Okay. You want to make sure some of the blue is showing through, like, on the tips. Because then, if you if it's all white, or, like, all one color, it'll kind of look weird. You know, it'll look like it's just one blob of white acrylic around it. Okay, so, make sure that you have some white. Acrylic. Okay, so let's see if we can do some here. Okay. And press. Okay, lay your bead down, and press. Okay, lay your bead down, and press, okay. Don't be scared of, like, if you grab a bead and you're like, oh, that's an ugly bead. Don't use it. Do not use it. Okay. Lay your bead down and press. Okay. See that? Okay, so, um... We can continue. I actually would like to add something here, like another, let's see. Okay, so let's, uh, put that as a reference. Okay, that's what I was trying to look for, that word. I was trying to look for the word reference. Okay, and we're going to pick up the bead.
Okay. And you just start getting the hang of it, really. You know, you start getting the hang of, of just keep going. Like, you grasp some, like, momentum, you know? And you just keep going, keep going, keep going. And then by the time you know, it's like you've done a whole, like, design. So, okay, so this is what I've got here. Okay, and you can literally keep going, like do a whole zigzag of flowers you know so tell me what you guys think um if there's any questions i can answer for you please ask me down below i'll be more than happy to um to answer them for you okay so don't forget to subscribe and i will see y'all on the next one